Hi guys, this is Peugeot 307 SW from 2005 and today we are going to replace catalytic converter. So first of all, how to find it. If you see this manifold here, it's responsible for collecting exhaust fumes from all four pistons or four combustion chambers into one pipe, which is, this is your oxygen sensor and then the pipe takes the fumes down to the catalytic converter there this is the part you see there's a um, cover on it which dissipates heat it's a, there's a lot of holes in it because it needs to lower down the temperature of the fumes um, and then it goes down that's the converter here then it there's a welded pipe on it and it goes down to the middle exhaust part where it's connected so I'll show you that in a moment but before that I want to make sure that you know there's a gasket in between uh, catalytic converter top interface and then this manifold bottom interface so if you want to reuse the gasket make sure not to lose it if you have new gasket then well you don't need to worry about that but at least you know so let's get under the car and then there's this one so you see here's your catalytic converter then there's the pipe welded to it and on the side of the pipe there's your second oxygen sensor and this sensor is responsible for checking if the catalytic converter is doing the job correctly so basically how much oxygen is in this pipe which relates to how good of a job is your catalytic converter doing and then also gives that information to the ECU which then takes the decision where to increase the amount of fuel or air through the throttle uh, or the opposite way and then the pipe runs down there connects to the well I can't reach any further but it connects to the middle exhaust and then uh, the middle exhaust connects to the end exhaust which relieves the exhaust fumes from your car and then if you see here there's the other connection of the pipe so when you want to remove whole catalytic converter uh, together with the pipe that is welded to it and then replace it you will need to disconnect these two connections one here and one just below this heat cover you do both connections from under the car and then there will be one more support of the pipe in the middle of the welded pipe I'll show you that now just for your information I explain how to disconnect the interface between the pipe that's welded to the catalytic converter and the middle exhaust pipe based on another video so that's going to be a video that you most probably know if you're a subscriber but I just didn't want to do this again since I had the material and the rest is something that you haven't seen so basically to remove the middle exhaust part on the side of the engine to disconnect the flange that faces the engine you need to remove these two bolts be gentle take some lubrication for it and don't rush it you don't want to break it the worst part is to properly jack up your car or basically don't use your jack rather use something solid like this and then additional uh, additional fixing just in case something fails and with regards to these bolts what, what I found it's it's very little place and it's basically they are in a kind of a tunnel uh, so what I found working out best for this is this kind of tool and that is the bolt the nuts are size 10 so hope you see that you basically insert it in place and then you turn but it's so little place that you really need both hands for this and so you do one and then you do the other one so the second nut is stuck and that's because the head of the nut turns from the other side as I turn the nut so the head of the bolt turns as I turn the nut 
and that's why I put the key 13 on the other side here and while I have turned the nut with my right hand I was holding the key from the other side and then after a couple of turns you see it's blocked by the exhaust on the other side so then you can freely just remove the nut and the bolt will not turn. Okay, so that's how the connection looks like and basically you put the damper here, put the washer here and then there's your nut and that's how it sits on your uh, exhaust. So now let's remove the bottom lambda sensor. So now if you follow the cables, lambda sensor cable goes here, it leads to the blue connection. So now we want to disconnect the bottom lambda sensor. Before we disconnect the sensors, let's deattach the battery. And now let's disconnect the sensor. You need to open this fully and then disconnect it. Before you continue unscrewing you need to disconnect the cable otherwise it gets twisted. And there you have your bottom lambda sensor. Okay, now to release this part of the pipe, we need to put the uh, alarm key there. So that's what I'm going to do. I will show you a picture of how it looks like, but unfortunately I can't show you that uh, on the video. and some leverage so you see the leverage is necessary I think I'll spare you watching me doing it. We need to remove the front exhaust pipe. And that's what we are going to do now. And to do that, in front of your engine, there are bolts that keep it in place. Huh. Can't shine the light properly, but I promise you there's one more bolt just there
If you have trouble remembering all the things that we removed, just take a look at the beginning of the video. And what I'll do now is I will connect this front pipe back using this four bolts. Remember that on this piece of pipe there is a gasket, so don't lose it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and if you'd like to see more Peugeot 307 mechanics, check my channel out. I've got plenty of videos about this car and good luck with your Peugeot.